Pasha and Gabby have such a great chemistry on the floor. Watching them is a huge inspiration. Pasha and Gabby, they're also like role models to me. Just watching them dance, you can see their passion. They really, I think, are great representatives, not only for uh, our studio, but also for the United States and uh, in general for uh, dancing. We are at the uh, Hot Spot Yoga in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> I love taking it because uh, it gets me into my, I would call it the Zen mode, it gets into my breath, uh, relaxation, and uh, uh, the best part about it is that I feel 110% after coming out of this class. Level of awareness that we attain through yoga, how we always get a higher level of awareness through the stretching, through the breath, of course that affects our dancing and makes it much better. Dance is our whole day from... Our whole uh, life. We live, breathe, eat, dance. Mm. We are in Chitsa Bay on our way to get some uh, bagels at uh, this uh, spot called Bagel Boy. It's one of the best spots actually in Brooklyn yeah. for bagels. I love living in Brooklyn. I uh, feel like it's like a melting pot of uh, every culture that you could even imagine. Well, Gabby was born in Brooklyn. I'm New a York. Brooklyn native, so I'm yeah. the first uh, generation out of my family. They're originally from Ukraine, and so I was the first one to be uh, born in Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Russia, but I was also raised in Ukraine, and I moved to the States when I was uh, nine years old. I was about third grade, and um, I started dancing in America. So a lot of, we have a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans that start dancing in Europe and come to the States and were already trained, but I started dancing in Brooklyn. So I would say and it's very important Native American dancer. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's get some food. Yeah. Uh, these are for my mom. Uh, it's her birthday today, so we're gonna make some uh, time out of our crazy schedule just to say happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to fit in uh, some of the daily activities in our crazy life, but uh, we feel it's very important to give back, especially to our parents that uh, gave a lot to us and sacrificed in their life a lot to make this a dream for us, the dancing dream possible. Yeah, because uh, as first immigrants that they migrate uh, when they migrated to America, they had to work extra, extra hard for us in order for us to have a lifestyle that we have today and uh, we are forever thankful for that.
said it's not a timing, it should be just a feeling of uh, us being together. Right now we are located at Brooklyn Dance Pro Club, the best dance studio in America for competitive uh, couples and kids as well. Uh, right now we are practicing uh, a couple of things that we went over yesterday in uh, Eugene's lesson and uh, just trying to make it perfect, always in pursuit of per perfection. Specifically, we are trying to use uh, each other's weight in the right way without actually being physical and using the hand. Actually using your feet and through the feet we feel each other's weight without actually pulling each other with a hand. It's a little bit complicated, uh, but that's how we connect, yeah. The studio serves many, uh, many purposes for us. It's a place where we work. Um, we teach a lot here. We also take our own private lessons here where we get better. So um, it's like our second home. We spend most of our day here. Two, three, step, step. Two, three, get over your foot here. One, check two. Uh, this is Lisa. How old are you, 12, 13? 12. 12 years old, uh, she had a partner. Recently they broke up, but now she's gonna be competing with me. She's my star student, and uh, she's doing really well. Well, dancing makes me happier, and it helps me relieve a lot of my stress. And I just love to do it. Kids are stressed out these days, you know? <laughs> with school, homework, school. lots of school. These guys are just actually freshly partnered up. Uh, he split with his partner, he was an actively competitive dancer. And uh, they just got together, and we're hoping to create some champions. Working with Gabby is great. She's very fun and very, you can get close to her and she, you're not, like, you'll never be scared to ask her any questions. So it's, she's a great instructor. Ready? Five, six, here we go. They're one of the top couples uh, in the country that we have. Well, last year was a breakthrough year for them when they, they've been trying to crack the final of the Rising Star event for a couple of times unsuccessfully. And that's, last year, not only they, did they make the final, but they actually won it. So that was a huge springboard for them. And this year, they are not qualified to do that anymore as champions. So they only have the open event. So uh, it's a little bit more pressure because that's uh, among the top couples in the world, but it's also more freeing for them, where I think uh, they don't have uh, specific expectations for how they're gonna do. We're very prepared. They did their homework and uh, they're just gonna dance their best and we'll see how it goes. So it's a perpetual trophy. That means that you gotta give it back next year. Now we're just dancing the open, open. No Horizon Star. Yeah, so we just gotta give this back. Once you've won the event, that's it. You're done. This trophy reminds me that through hard work, dedication, and uh, true belief in your craft, you could prevail and uh, succeed. Yeah. yeah. I'm Pasha Stepinchuk. And I'm Gabrielle Sabler. And you're, and you're watching, watching us, us on Flow Dance. Dance.